the take for this featherweight fight. 25-year-old Dennis Bermudez against 26-year-old Tommy Hayden. Hayden, three inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. Once again with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record. Eight wins, one loss. Danny, five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, Tommy Wildcard Hayden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record. Nine wins, three losses. Danny, five feet, six inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Lindenhurst, New York, Dennis the Menace Bermudez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Tom Johnson. Tom Johnson will be our referee for this fight at 145. The beautiful Ariani, first ever fight at 145 for Tommy Hayden as he faces off against Dennis the Menace Bermudez. Are you ready, Dennis? You ready, Tom? Let's fight! And here we go! Black trunks for Bermudez. The South Paul from Miami of Ohio. Tommy Hayden in the white trunks. And look out for the big right hand of Bermudez. Is a, a very quick and powerful right hand. Keeps his hands high and tight. Hayden says, this is by far my biggest test to date. Knows that Bermudez is an excellent wrestler and extremely explosive. Yeah, he is just a ball of muscle, that dude. Has trained his wrestling at Hofstra with one of the top 185-pound fighters in the world today, Chris Weidman, rising UFC star. Yeah, you want to talk about an impressive performance. How about the fight when Weidman stopped Mark Munoz? I mean, that was just outstanding. And look at this. Bermudez is showing that all sorts we talked about. of strength there, too. That was just not just wrestling, but physical power, the way he lifted him up there with that single. Now you could say Weidman made a statement that night. Oh, man, he made a statement. Bermudez looking to string a couple of UFC victories together. And Hayden trying to control Bermudez here from the butterf butterfly guard. Bermuda stepped over one leg and Hayden back up to his feet. Nicely done, Tommy Hayden. Hayden took his first UFC fight at 155 on short notice. Tonight, a full training camp in Cincinnati with George Grigel. Hayden has only been beyond the first round three times in nine professional fights. He got Five first round finishes. Tried to he caught Bermudez with a good right hand there. Good sprawl by Bermudez, Joe. George Grigel right there in the corner of Tommy Hayden. Bermudez is holding on to him, resting his weight on Hayden's upper back and shoulders, and he spins to his back, and Hayden gets one leg in between. He's going to roll under and try for a leg bar here. Hayden trying to scramble again. Hayden knee on the way up. Hayden born in Indianapolis. Bermudez has a considerable size. Oh! Trying to finish it right here. He doesn't have it under the chin, though. Rocked him with a knee. But he does have that arm trapped. See how he has that left arm? The left arm is trapped. So Bermudez only has one arm to defend himself with. What Hayden's got to do is trap that one arm down and choke him with the left. Put his right arm, his underhook, control the wrist, the right wrist of Bermudez, and try to choke him with his left arm. Bermudez is slowly working his way out of it, though. 
And hey, he tries outside. an armbar. Armbar transition. And he gets Slams slammed. his way out of trouble. And that's some ground and pound by Bermuda. That's some serious physical strength by Bermudez. And a good job defending himself when he was clearly stunned from that knee. Bermudez, very businesslike in his approach to professional fighting. Talked about Barry Sanders and how Sanders would always, when he scored a touchdown, act like he'd been there before and plan to be back. Just hand the ball to the official and go back to the sidelines. And that's how Bermudez is. He's all business. As he works through a difficult moment here, eating the knee of Tommy Hayden. And now full guard closed by Tommy Hayden. Backed up his wild card. Just over 30 seconds on the clock here in round one. Got rock. Pushing forward was Bermudez with the kick. Bermudez looking for a choke here, looking for a front choke. He's got the head pinned into his chest. 20 seconds, he's got time. Standing guillotine, that's it, he got it. It is got all it. over. Very Dennis nicely done. Bermudez. Very Able nicely to submit done. Tommy Hayden late in round one. The standing guillotine forcing Hayden to tap. And winning his second straight. Let's see it here. Hayden shoots, and he, he starts it out. It looks like a front choke. Looks like he has it pinned into his chest, and then he gets it onto the side, and then he really cranks it here. Here's where he really gets that guillotine nice and tight, and you see him tapping. And this is what really started it. The front kick, it looked like he got him right in the chest. And here we see one more time. You see it really cranks that nice and tight. Excellent standing guillotine by Mr. Bermudez. The ultimate fighter finalist. The winner tonight by submission as he chokes out Tommy Hayden. Let's Just take a look at the end of the fight here. That was beautiful. And there you see him, this standing guillotine choke that he got the victory with. Nice and tight, arches the back, cinches that choke in. Very nicely done by Dennis Bermudez. Ah, he's fired up. He submits Tommy Hayden with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tom Johnson's called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a standing guillotine choke, Dennis the Menace Bermudez. Bermudez with the win. Here's show. I'm here with the winner, Dennis Bermudez. Dennis, uh, excellent submission victory. Y you had to fight through some adversity, though. He, he caught you with a knee in that round. How bad were you hurt there? Uh, I was just talking to my corner. I didn't even know I got hit with a knee. I just kind of was like, these guys on my back with a rear naked choke. Uh, we, <laughs> well, how did I get here? You want to see it? Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's look at it in the big screen. You, you fought through it very well. Once he tagged you with it, you recovered very quickly. Obviously, that's a testament to your conditioning. There it is. Ouch! And this is probably where you woke up. You woke up right after that. <laughs> uh, I got some people back home like, go out, let him tag you as hard as he can, and then start your fight. It seems like all your fights, you get dropped, and then you come back and win. Well, you went after him, though, later in the round. Let's check this out. You caught him with a big kick to the chest here, and that was the beginning of the end for him. You tagged him, and then he went to shoot for that double. This is where you caught him with the standing guillotine choke here. Here it is right here. You're going to show it right here. Here's the guillotine choke. You caught it, and once you had it, you really locked it up, turned it to the side, and, and squeezed it very nice for the victory. Yeah, I want to thank my jiu-jitsu coach, Greg DiBasquale. We've been working on that from the front headlock. That actually looks like a tough 14 semifinals fight, maybe? Well, listen, man, congratulations on a very exciting victory. Can't wait to see you again. Guys, we're, if you guys want to hang out with the menace, we're having an after-party, after-party at the Rhino Sports Gallery, 4 a.m. Party with Dennis Bermudez, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, sir.